So these new RTX settings dropped in Fortnite and let's just say they are quite interesting. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys which settings you should enable and disable in Fortnite to get lower input delay and boost FPS. If you guys don't know, you will need the latest Nvidia drivers to access all of the new settings so go update those if you haven't already. And without any further ado, let's get this video started. Starting with the new latency settings, latency markers is the settings that is required for the latency debug code to show up which then works with the latency flash to basically help you guys measure your system latency. I would recommend you guys to switch them off but if you wanna measure the latency then just leave them on. Then comes the Nvidia Reflex Low Latency which is probably the best setting added to Fortnite. So first what is latency? Latency is the time it takes your machine to respond to your command on display. For example, the time it takes between you clicking your mouse button and action happening on the display. What Nvidia Reflex does is actually cut out the render quit times between the CPU and GPU and also reducing the back pressure from your CPU, hence decreasing the time taken by your machine, in this case your PC, to respond to your given command, which lowers the overall system latency. It can also really help in some GPU intensive scenarios, but overall Fortnite is a CPU bounded game. So I saw a lot of uh, mixed reviews on it with people saying it doesn't help at all to people saying that it works really well. Nvidia said that low latency reflex can lower the system latency up to 33% on mid-range cards for example a GTX 1660 and like 50% on the high-end cards which is just insane. Then I tested it out myself and the results were not that great. Just keep in mind that it was my experience with the setting, I didn't perfectly measure the latency but I did feel a bit of difference with the Nvidia Reflex set to on but honestly I didn't feel any difference with it set to on plus boost. I tried to use the latency markers to help as well but I still couldn't feel any difference whatsoever. After that I saw that some people saw huge improvements with Nvidia Reflex set to on plus boost. So what I recommend is that you guys should try both on and on plus boost and see which one works better for you. As more information comes out on the topic, I will update you guys on what to do then. So be sure to check out my Twitter for that. Hashtag ad. Then comes the RTX or ray tracing settings which are just horrible for your FPS. Here are a few examples of what ray tracing looks like. It basically just enhances the overall graphics of your game with better shadows, reflections and more details. So you're obviously gonna lose a lot of FPS. Even GPUs like the RTX 2070 Super can't handle ray tracing with stable FPS as you can see on screen. By the way shout out to my boy TrackX, admin on my discord server for the information. Also you need to use the DirectX 12 to enable ray tracing options. I highly recommend that you guys turn off all the ray tracing options because some people who turned off the ray tracing option but didn't turn off the other sub options, shadows, reflections, ambient occlusion, global illumination were having FPS drops as well. Don't know if it's a bug but just turn off all of the ray tracing settings now. And finally there is the DLSS option which stands for deep learning super sampling. What it basically does is, it forms a higher quality image with the less amount of pixels, meaning you can get the quality of a higher resolution on a lower resolution, which in theory should help you get a lot more FPS, but as far as the benchmarks and tests go until now, it's broken because it's not working properly. Here's a quick comparison by Lurid on Twitter with DLSS on and off and you can clearly see the FPS difference right there. So what I mean by all of that is just turn off DLSS until Epic fixes it, hopefully. So those were all of the new settings in Fortnite and now you know what they do. If you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.